Hi, Callie Gibbs here. I wanna show you some of the 1001 Things to Spot books, but first I wanna show you a comparison of the Things to Spot sticker books and the regular books. So these are both 1001 Pirate Things to Spot. This is the sticker book. It's a paperback volume. The scenes are the, the same in both books, but the items have a grayed out outline. And kids peel off the sticker once they find the item and then they stick it on the item. I love this book because once the stickers are all placed, it's still a book that they can find the items that they've spotted. Really fun. So this is the table of contents. And as you can see, they're the same. And then this is what the regular book looks like. It's a hardbound, thick padded cover. The pages are slightly thicker and the pictures are a little bit brighter and more vibrant. And the little images of the items are colored in. Cute and fun. This one is 1001 Bugs to Spot. And here's the table of contents. And some of the different scenes. Really pretty pictures and fun and cute little bugs to find. This is the Zoo Picture Puzzle Book. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Really thick cardstock pages, a hardbound book, and really pretty pictures. And a look and find. Find two perching pairs of twins. And then the kids go through and look through the pictures and find the little things that are in the talk bubbles. Where did I leave my pink boots? Really cute. Love that one. And then, Big Book of Things to Spot. This one is a combined volume of several spot books. Animals, Farm, Town, and Spot Long Ago. And it's a paperback. So you get a lot of books in one. In this one. So there you go. Thanks for watching.